Okay, and welcome to another how-to video. And as I already explained in some previous videos, I am joined today by one of the industry's best-known influencers. Uh, no, it's not me. It is Mr. Da Vici. Well, thanks for that spectacular intro, Dave. Uh, I'm not sure about that accolade, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, it's, Thank it's, you. I think I think it's very much justified, my friend. Thank you. Uh, my name's Ahmet Deveji, um, and I am based down in Essex, and I run a company called CCTV Aware that specialises in installations for the domestic market. For those of you that have seen or haven't seen, and this may be the introduction to this, is this brand new from Hike Vision, the hybrid smart colour view technology. Ooh, a calendar for some sort of weird sound effect in there, I'm sure. The brand new, I'll say it again, smart hybrid technology, colour view technology from Hype Vision. So in front of me, I've got the two boxes that we're going to take a look at shortly. And you can see the difference in packaging between the original colour view and the original powered by Dark Fighter. Again, you'll know that very well. You're very uh, upon this technology. Yes. What would you say about the the... Well, obviously they're very different technology, infrared and one uses white light. What was your preference in this sort of technology field? What do your customers like about this technology? <sighs> they, to be fair, they love the colour view okay. uh, and they love the white light. Um, I remember saying when I was here last time, and I was saying it for years, if Hype Vision were to ever introduce a camera that was 8 megapixels, full colour all the time, with audio, to me it would be hands down the game changing yeah. camera, mm -hmm. um, and lo and behold, that is now here. Um, so yeah, my customers absolutely love the fact that they can view color 24-7. Uh, it's always color. You get so much more clarity out of the image. Um, but some of the negative feedbacks I've had from it, not from, not from loads, but mm -hmm. from some, is that sometimes that white light may be a bit intrusive for some scenarios. Even though you can you know, lower the light level yeah. down, it's still there, right? Yeah, yeah, so, that's the only, I would say, um, probably negative feedback that I've had on that camera is that if there was the ability to completely turn the light off, mm -hmm. um, but still have a color functionality, then that would probably be the winner. So, moving on to why we're making this video today is these two lovely products in front of me. And this is just a snapshot of those products. So the first thing I'm going to ask you, um, and I've tried to ask you several questions for this and Jake has shouted at me several times, hasn't he? He kept telling you off. He kept telling me off to save it for the content. So we have saved it for the content. So we're going to focus on these two products in front of me. As you can see, these are the new smart hybrid technology cameras from Hike Vision. And the main issue and the main feedback that you identified with the intrusive white light has been resolved in this brand new product range. So we'll have a look at this one first. You can see here from the side already, it's a 2.8 millimeter, eight megapixel, uh, DS2CD2387G2H-LIU. So to me, um, the G2H-LIU is completely new. Mm -hmm. I've seen the DS and the 2CD2387 the, the two um, model scheme before but the letters afterwards are completely new to me haven't seen those before um, I noticed at the end of the 2.8 mil there is also an EF yeah. I'm not sure if that means anything or not energy efficient is that what it yeah, is yeah, right. there you go you learn something new every day so but you are right with the G2H the new camera code uh, the G2H H is the hybrid okay. so you guys out there if you see a camera with it says G2H in there so the G2 is the new platform model we've had that for a little bit now the H is the hybrid it dictates right. this and now a smart hybrid model Okay, brilliant. Um, yeah, so opening the box up from here in the top, uh, so, well, the first thing that I can see is the fact that there is no polystyrene in the box. Uh, and it is now cardboard because normally the first thing that you take out is the polystyrene that's normally in the top. It's um, horrible stuff. Yes, so I have seen an article recently actually uh, from Hype Vision on their PR channel that they are now moving over to a more eco-friendly packaging, a more sustainable packaging, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. uh, nice to see, and obviously the first time I've seen it in the flesh. So let's take this packaging out. What there is, we seem to have the usual templates. Yeah. Uh, Torx 10 bit in there wall fixings, uh, anti-moisture pad, and then we're now going into the actual camera itself. I can actually see in the box as well, the support bit here is also made up of layered in yep. tiers of uh, cardboard by the looks of it, which gives it that extra support. If you the use bottom. the uh, Amec close-up camera. Yeah, the Amec close-up camera, 
We've got the um, layered tiers of cardboard inside here as well, which would replace uh, what would have been the existing polystyrene. As you can see in there, guys, that horrible white polystyrene. So here we are with the cameras themselves. Side by side, look. Side by side. Um, yeah, I mean, they look pretty much identical. Obviously, I can see that the main camera lens area here itself looks slightly different. Yeah. Um, again, if we show that with the close-up camera, they look slightly different, um, but the main lighting structure looks to be quite similar. Slightly, slightly narrower on this one, slightly wider again on here, for what that's worth. Yeah. Um, but again, overall looks to be very similar. Um, it seems like the microphone location is also changed yep. from the bottom just to the side here as well. So that's handy There's to see. There's a couple of other minor changes. What you'll see is whilst the body, the footprint is exactly the same. The turret collar, if that's what you want to call it, is exactly the same. And the body is almost exactly the same. There are some unique changes to the black face style, as you can sort of see, because this uses almost like a dual lens combination for infrared and the F1 aperture for the color view. But you can see, it's quite hard to see, but if you point it that way, you can see the traditional standard colour view, the neck is slightly more elongated than the neck of this uh, new hybrid camera. Yes, it is. And they've yes. also relocated the SD card reset yeah, slot, so it's on that. the side instead of the top, which yeah, is, which is um, yeah, I'm not sure what impact that's going to have on you guys, but it is slightly changed, correct. I strongly believe this new hybrid camera will be the best selling camera technology high vision have made. Sure, in the short term at least, you know, for the next uh, 12 months, I don't think there's, you know, this is the latest and greatest. Yep. It's available in four megapixel and eight megapixel. Uh, and I truly believe that this will be the best selling camera technology. Yeah, no, I think I have to agree with that, to be honest. Um, certainly in uh, the range that we offer, yeah. um, this the, the current color view sits just above the current AccuSense. Yeah. Well, again, subject to reviews, um, this camera is likely to replace this completely, so this offering won't be available, whereas this offering will be available. Yeah. Um, rather than to sort, I like to try and keep it simple, so rather than confuse people and have too many options, I think this will in theory replace that overall from the product line of that Perfect. Certain, certain that we offer. Um, I think there's a couple of things I'd like to say from a, a well, negative maybe or, or, or not available yet rather than negative. We try not to address things negatively here. Um, in this existing range, there is the live guard version. I'm yeah. not sure if that's a popular choice with your customers yeah. where you can have the flashing light and the speaker combination. That isn't in this new hybrid technology yet. It is being worked on, but if you okay. need the light guard function, it's still on the older format. Many of you do use it. It is really powerful using the analytic, the flashing light and the two-way audio. They both have microphones, so you still get the two-way audio, just not the, well, you do get the one-way audio, one audio, not two-way yeah, yeah, audio, yeah, I'll correct yeah. myself on that. Um, but they are working on the live guard version of this, which okay. is not currently available. Okay. They don't do a very focal version of this either. It's a fixed lens offering in the turret camera. They do one in the bullet camera, but they do have a, a bigger range in the existing color view and dark, power by dark value range in the original one. Okay. So there are some yep. sort of limitations to it. Like, are they limitations? I guess will remain to be seen. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is the is the eight megapixel. Well, some of you still use four megapixel, four and eight megapixel fixed lens turret, two point eight and four mil are both available. Good. There's not a version in black currently. Not yet. No. Not yet. Okay. They are working on that as well, and I believe that to be not very far away because again, modern buildings, aesthetically pleasing. Yes. I think that the black yeah. option is a, is a very good option. We're going to fit the two cameras side by side, and we're going to see the benefits and the uh, how, guess the performance of both to see okay. what both technologies bring to the table and how beneficial either one could be. And basically from there, we'll give a bit of a review if that's okay with you. Sounds good, sounds perfect. So, uh, we're gonna fit the cameras up there like we said last time, mm -hmm. um, with uh, no cable ties this time, thanks. Um, but I have two screws. Yeah, yeah. just you know, just to prove they are going up with one screw each. So um, are you doing one and then I'm at doing the other one? Yeah, and or then... you can do both, I'm happy. Who's can, doing what? Can we, can we just address the elephant in the room first? Please. Please. What is this? That's right, this the feature. Is, this is something Jake found, uh, <laughs> which I wasn't aware that we actually owned until you dragged it in here. Yeah? I love that. That's that's coming home in the boot of the car with me, it's that, like I think. old library, librarian thing. Isn't Look, it? it'll get you to where you need to be. It looks like it should be on Speaker's Corner in London. <laughs> yeah. and someone's going to stand on the top and start preaching. The preacher. Yeah, yeah, good job. Jake's never been to a library before. <laughs> you, so no, no, no. That's no, what okay. that reference was. Um, 
but yeah, so we're gonna. I'll put, I'm gonna take these off first. Oh, hang on. Look on in the side. Let oh, Armand oh, dust oh, the yeah, best on. one. I've hey, done it. People pay good money for they this do. stuff. This is like. Hold on. This is like. This is so satisfying. Do you know when I first... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll run a competition. Oh, Oh, Salt Bay. Oh, nice. Final Bay, look at that. If you you leave a comment underneath (laughs) the video, you've got a chance of winning that, yeah? Yeah. So satisfying. It is. I love it. it And do you know what's unsatisfying? The amount of people who don't take it off after installation. Have you seen that before? That's a thing. People who leave it on, whether it's accidental, no understanding of it, whatever the reason is, people who actually leave it on there and after a few weeks and months of the weathering, you becomes very prevalent of that being so is that Ahmed's top tip don't do that it is but what my top tip is also is make that the last thing you take off when you finished because during handling it and installing it that's, that's now going to be covered in finger marks yeah I so I normally that. get it all on the wall yeah, first really put the collar on <laughs> do what needs to be done adjust it and then take final off. bay off so uh, just confirm, uh, Dave, you just, <laughs> just, no, no, no. <laughs> but we're not, not, not going to dwell on this thing. It's, it's like cable gate all over again. Um, I'm going to not have a sleep in tonight again. But yeah, uh, I should have done what you said. But for purposes of the video content, we wanted to make it Yeah, we're easy. speedy. So yeah, yeah, cool. Right, get it up. So who's, so who's, let me who's put up the first? first one up then. Who's um, up first? Just pass me the no. green uh, thing, if you don't mind. Oh, this is, oh, this is really stable. It's good, isn't it? Mm, loving it. So I'll just put this in here. So which one's this? So no, this is the uh, normal one. No, oh, this is the hybrid one. That's the hybrid one. The hybrid so one. the hybrid one is going to go on this one, on this side, because it's nicer. So I'm going to clip that in there, standard PoE. I'm just going to overhang this. So we're going to just put it up on here, and yeah, I'm going to destroy the board and whatnot. That's it. But go. I like that little flick of the wrist. You like that, yeah, yeah I mean, you've done that before. I've Love never, it. I've never flicked the wrist <laughs> multiple times. Never. Callum, keep that in, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, it does work. Have you ever got any pre drilled holes or anything? That's he gets the proper drill because he's a VIP. <laughs> Uh, I can, I've got a uh, extension. Have you, have you got one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's too tight to it, isn't it? Yeah. And that's why I use that thing because it gets past that little thing. Look. Here you are, Jake. Not so funny now, is it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a quick little lunch break and then we'll uh, we'll do the testing. Are we doing? When are you setting up the? Uh... Nighttime. Well, what I'm wondering if we're going to replicate nighttime mode and to get everyone in that night vibe, are you going to put your pajamas on? I should, oh god. Then I well, feel like it's Jesus. evening time. Right. If this I transition wish works. Like, I wish I bought pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> we're just. Uh, oh. I bet it's bothered to uh, stand up. It's all right. You stay there, Dave. You crack on. I was quite comfortable there after my foot long stuff. Yeah, we've had quite heavy lunch, but we're back now. It was choice. You didn't have to have a heavy lunch shake, did you? I'm not. talking to you specifically. <laughs> yeah, Jake. Yeah, I am. Um, I overindulged. Someone was following the crowd. Yeah, I'm not recording. Dave's, um, Dave's still taping. Yeah. There we go. Right, come on, test now. Let's see um, how dark it is in here. Okay. We'll do the honours after three. Two, one, go. Sit that. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, that is dark. Uh, that that is dark. dark. So, uh, hello. Oh, look at that. It probably yeah. Take it off. Sure. See, would it turn the light off? But we've now got this light here. Yeah, it might not. It might let's, not have a massive see. effect. But do you know what? I love the colour view technology. You look at that image on that laptop screen. It's just so good. It is, it is so good. Be is it enough? No, because I suppose it's in now. So once it's in, yeah, it hasn't, yeah, yeah. It it hasn't then gone. got light enough. Yeah. for it to go off. So look at that. So standard colour view, hybrid colour view. Perfect. What we've got here is my laptop and we've got the two cameras. All I've done, and you have to take my word for this, we've done no trickery trickery on this at all. We've activated, I didn't want to do that, but it takes too long and I want passwords, etc. So both have been activated with a standard IP address mm-hmm. and both have got the same password. 
all I've done is sync the date so you can see in the video clearly the date on the laptop you can see it's Monday nearly two o'clock in the afternoon yeah. and as Arme said earlier there will be jumps in time but we're in a room that's very dark you have to take our word for this there is yes. no trickery involved in very this. dark I could very very dark testify. you can see color view standard as the OSD tax and you can see smart hybrid color view okay now what you can see here is if you look at that smart hybrid color view very comparable view look how sharp in comparison, now I'm going to flick through it. It's probably a little bit difficult to see, but I think the new one is slightly sharper. Now it might just be me, Very it might just slight. Be, my, be my eyes, but I already think. I meant what you're thinking. Yeah. It is slightly. I, I think sharper. it's. It's. It almost seems like it's slightly in better focus. Yeah, like more in focus, like yes. a slight, slightly sharper focus. Yes. Yeah, that's the word it's I was slightly, looking for. Slightly crispier. Yes, yeah, you can say that. So, as you can see here, the cameras are set up. So I'm going to show you, if I go this side and you just see, just so there's no sort of trickery, under configuration, they're both 8 megapixels, so if we go to video and audio, 8 megapixel, 25 frames a second, H265 H standard, and that's 6144 kilobytes. So okay. that's out of the box, yeah? Out of the box. Yeah. Same with this one, configuration, video and audio, 8 megapixel, 6144, 25 frames a second, H265. So effectively, they're both the same encoding algorithm, which is really important at this stage. First on the traditional color view camera, on the, which is the first one, 1.64 if we go to image display settings exposure settings exposure 1 over 12 1 over 12 set, okay which is that is the default Correct. out of the box setting um <laughs> i wouldn't always recommend leaving it at that but that is what you will find like sometimes if you've got enough light coming into the camera and you can afford to make that exposure setting higher then it does make a bit, bit of an impact especially when you get motion blur yes but when it's a fast and moving object by making that exposure higher you can reduce motion blur effect but you can also still get an outstanding picture because there's a residual do you want to show the other one residual as well, light. yeah so yeah, this sorry. one on the second color view hybrid light again if we go to image and we go to display settings exposure it is 1 over 12 again. So they're both out of the box 1 over 12. Which also, just touching on the 1 over 12, and I don't want to go too far into another topic, but set at 112, WDR does not apply, so it doesn't work. Correct. And if you try to activate WDR, it will say to you, increase shutter speed first. So on this one here, on the thing, so we've got the backlight set end and then WDR, to prove the point, we turn it on and it says, please disable a slow shutter function. How did so you know that was going to happen? Um, Years of experience. I've done it, I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> and quite a lot of people do. That's a really good point to pick up on. It's one of the feedbacks we get on the forum, our DVS forum actually, is around uh, the shutter speed. One, making it higher, so we'll instead of 1 over 12, making 1 over 25, yeah. 1 over 50, because yeah. that does have an effect on it. Um, or one making it lower and what what I've actually found with other cameras is if you use a traditional camera not if you use an IR camera or a non color view camera and you try to make that one over 12 that has a quite a horrible effect on that camera because it's not set up for that aperture speed without going too far into what shutter speed is and why we change it the shutter in a camera basically opens up okay so the the lower the number the longer it takes to close. So basically it opens, it allows loads of light to pour in, but it also allows image to pour in. It then closes and the image is then taken. Is this for my benefit? Because <laughs> I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so then basically having a quicker shutter speed minimizes that motion blur that Dave just spoke about a minute ago. Okay, perfect. Is that new to you? <laughs> Gee, that was, that's quite close, mate. Yeah. Sorry, you know, I'm all up for like, you know, meet and greets, but that was very personal. I want to see these perform at night perfect let's so do it let's move on so we're set up for it now so we've been through the image settings they're default out of the box so they're both of the cameras have got the same resolution same bit rate same frame rate same exposure settings so far we're, we're really good to go yeah. another really good thing to notice on the day night switch you'll see the filtering time is set to five now that means it needs to be five seconds before the filter changes whether the white light comes on or goes off 
You can increase that is the, on the lowest. The default is five. You can't decrease it. But the filtering time is the time it takes for the camera to do its change. Whether that's the white light come on or whether it's infrared today, whatever that looks like, depending on the technology you're using. And they're both set at five. So in reality, they should change very quickly. Okay, which is what we tried to demonstrate earlier. So let's go to the live view web page on both. So we've got the smart color view hybrid and the standard color view. Okay, mm -hmm. so far both fantastic images, yeah? Oh, nice. I found the box. That's nice. There we go. So what we're gonna do is, as a comparison test, we're gonna turn off, on the smart hybrid camera, we're gonna turn the white light off. Right. We'll permanently disable it. So under the day night switch settings, as you well know, you can adjust the white light intensity, which is a really helpful feature, and by default it's 50%. You can make that higher or lower depending on the application what we're gonna do though we're gonna make it so off for the white light there's no supplementary light on this now so no white light will come on on this camera okay right what we are gonna do is on the color view camera configuration and just make sure that's on so under image day and night switch it's white supplement my auto but again you can change it to manual and make that 100 percent intensity which is what i do for testing because i prefer full intensity personally but again each has their own preference so if we now go back to live view wait for them to come back into live view there we go so now you've essentially turned off all supplementary lights for the hybrid correct just the standard um, AccuSense color view has, Correct. has a, a white light on, which you've turned up to 100%. Yeah, and the reason I do that is I find with the white light as standard, again, out of the box is 50%, and it's only in my opinion, and everyone has their own opinion and their own, obviously, application of this. I always tend to start at full intensity because you get maximum distance and maximum effect from the white light. What? Sorry. What? I, I just came across, I was thinking of something else when you were talking about, I always like to start off with max intensity, because I get maximum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I shouldn't have gone there, no. in my head. Um, yeah, you're going to have to definitely cut that bit out, nah, aren't you? leave it in, Carl, sod it. Yeah, okay, I get it, yeah. So I always like to start with maximum intensity, because that way you get the fullest effect. If that then is too overexposed, or you get too much bounce, off other objects, the white light interferes with the imagery. Yeah, no, no, sorry. Then obviously we can adjust that down. I don't know what your preference is. <laughs> um, well, I, I t well, depending on what it is, I tend to actually go the opposite way. I tend, oh, to, okay. start, I tend to start lower um, and then adjust accordingly. Well, yeah, so t already two differences of opinions. Yeah, yeah, so drop your, drop your sort of preference in the comments below. It'd be interesting what other people do. So, now, Jake. So now we need one, a test subject. One thing I will say, though, okay. and this is a little plug for Hit Connect and how good it actually is, what I tend to do is when we get these fitted on houses, especially yeah. in domestic environments, we start at a figure, let's say it's 50, 20, whatever, we start at 20, but I'll always say to the customer that tonight when it gets dark and it goes, you know, dark enough for the light to come on, we will check it for you using Hit Connect to make sure if we need to make any adjustments to oh, the That's light. a lovely because handy tip, Because you can that actually is. do it remotely you can. using Hit Connect. You and can. And that is a fantastic feature. And the customer's always like, well, uh, okay, okay, no problem. But then you tell them actually, you will know when I've checked it because it will ping you a notification instantly. True. And Hit Connect does that because it's very transparent. Callum, put absolutely. a round of applause. Absolutely, that is yeah. Yeah. such there. a good yeah. little yeah. tip. Yeah. 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 Such a good tip. Use it all the time, and it makes yeah. yeah. So obviously, you are doing a great customer service. Yeah. But obviously, that is just it's perfect. Good for the customer. It shows that you're caring to make sure the camera is running optimally, even at a point that you can't be there to test it. There's no extra call out fees, no extra charges. You can do it. What a service. great customer remotely. service. Like to be able to remotely. do that remotely yes. at a night time, so you're yes. not there disturbing the yeah. customer. You yeah. can completely take that away from All them, the time. optimize it, and then tell them you're done. It, that this, is fantastic. This time of the year, cool. because if it gets a darker up later, it I'll takes normally, a lot longer. It takes longer. So I'll, what I normally say to customers is if I don't view it tonight, I will view playback tomorrow morning and see retrospectively yeah. and then make adjustments. Perfect. So, that is such a cool little insider tip. Yeah. Inside the trade right, I'm going to hand it over to you then because I'm yep. going to be the guinea pig. Yep. So now, Jake, you're going to go in the room. Uh, yeah, I'll let you in. Yeah, of course. It took too long last time. <laughs> so we're going to let you in. Are you ready? Just take it out of the wallet. 
I don't like doing that. It works it's got every about time. It's got about 15 Dave said no. Dave said no one else could open the door, but clearly he can't open the door with his own um, with yes. his own card. Ian, then turn the lights off. Right, turn the lights off. See you later. Go. So you can see now it's going to take a little bit of time to switch on there. So we cut, I'm going to crouch down a little bit. Right, we've now switched. So you can see there, and you will be able to see this through OBS. Jake is now, I don't know what he's doing. This, oh God, that is can't, terrible. Can't, can't take him serious. Kung Fu. Can I walk to the back of the room? Yeah, please mate. If you can just keep on walking when you get to the back. So Jake is now totally oblivious to the fact we're filming all of this. So Jake, now that is using the standard white light off the standard colour view camera. Now, obviously we turn that up to high intensity and as you can see there, it's probably a little bit overexposed on the sides where the white light is bouncing back off the, especially the shiny metallic surface here. But what a fantastic image. Don't forget you saw how dark that was in that room. Oh God. Um, I have to work with this every day, guys. Yeah. Um, Sadly. What what he doesn't realise is that he's just activated the Dewalt screwdriver. Yeah. Which actually turns a little light yeah, on. Well I done, think, Jake. I think the penny's now dropped. It has dropped. So Here Jake, stay there. Penny, stay penny there. Dropped. So that's the standard colour view. And if we look at the hybrid camera technology, you can see that we switch between there. Um, interestingly, what you will notice is there's not really a shadow behind him on that one, but where you can see the white light is from the other camera, it's now created that shadow effect. Yes. It's almost it's like the camera's it? not dealing with it itself. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. The image is absolutely fantastic. If you can see, and you will see through the screen recording, the image clarity, I would say, on the new Color View Hybrid is probably more detailed and finer pitched than the standard one, if you sort of flick between it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, and it's using the other camera's white light. That is a much crisper, cleaner image. But you do get that interesting shadow yes. effect, which you don't get on the yeah. uh, standard camera. But it could be that that light is coming from the side angle. Yeah, which it is could why be it's that. Giving it the shot and yeah, they're, yeah. Not, they're not firing in the same direction. Could be that. And now he's putting my clothes on, guys. So, um, but that's a really interesting test scene where the camera, the color view hybrid light, has no white light and it's just using the white light from the other camera. Look how that is performing. Absolutely pleased with that. Amit, are you pleased with that? Yeah, that's very good. Very good, yeah. That's, that's intense. Um, and not Jake, I mean, but I mean by the camera image. So Jake is always intense, guys. Um, <laughs> and like I said, sadly, we have to work with this every day, which is a big frustration. That's why we don't get much things done here. Um, and anyway, here's it. Hi, Jake. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Yeah. How so, was it? Was it good? Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna do a bit of an interesting test. I'm gonna turn the color view, the standard color view, we're gonna turn the white light off altogether. So that one goes into defunct mode. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna turn the smart hybrid camera into smart hybrid mode. So I think Armin's gonna jump ahead and do this for us. So if you can just turn it off uh, under image and then turn it off on the standard one. Love the auto save function, and then if you go then to the, the same configuration. Now, like I said, by default, guys, this comes as color view configuration. Arm um, is going to send it if you just follow that screen quickly. No, Jake, sorry, he's going to change it to the hybrid smart mode at the top. And then what I do is I turn the IR and white light up to 50 100% uh, on both again because we did it on the other one, it's only fair to do it the same on this one. And again, both infrared and white light are fully adjustable. Like I said, they do come out with 50%. We're gonna do this test again now. So put them both into live view. And now Jake. Why are you ever so slightly out of breath? What were you doing when I was in there? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just intense. It was intense, yeah. Um, I don't think you're gonna get a sponsorship from DeWalt anytime soon. <laughs> right, yeah. so I'm handing it over. Right. Yeah. So, it, it, so it, same principle applies, guys. But it's you're going to go in. You're going to turn the the light off. Pitch black in there, and what's going to happen then is the other camera's white light will come on. But let's just see what this looks like. Let's go into infrared mode. So if you go in there, in the middle, and just stand still. Okay. That's what your job at the minute is: stand still. So that is that's the smart hybrid one, isn't it? Yeah. That's on right now. So now what should happen is that'll go into infrared mode and you yes. can already see. Yes. Now, if you go to the standard color view camera, 
unusable image. You can see some light getting through from like the chargers and some of the ancillary products. And now inside, it's a lot darker than that. And that's doing a really good job as it is just picking up on that little tiny bits of light. Unusable image, right? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. completely, completely unusable. Whereas the smart hybrid technology really comes into its own. We're getting the best of both worlds here. Great image when there's light, great image when there's not light. We're using the infrared, which is the traditional infrared image of any camera that Jake is now being picked up by. And would you agree that's a really crisp image, right? For an eight megapixel yes, infrared mode. it is. Although there is supplementary light above his head. So there is a bit of supplementary light above his head. You're right, you can see there's a fisheye camera there. Is that what it is? There's a li little, little fisheye camera, which is powered from another. That little cam, that's a, a people county camera, and that's a fisheye camera. But even without those on, that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. The image in that is absolutely fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is, Jake's really struggling to see, is that, is that dark? He's actually struggling to see himself in it. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna open the door now, because yeah. this is how we get this to trigger. So what we'll do now but, is... But also, before you turn the light on, don't turn the light on, because it'll be handy to see actually how dark it good, is good when point. you open the door. So Just from a normal camera. So open the door, Jake, but don't turn the light on. We'll see how dark it actually is in there. There you go, look. Oh, should I hold this? Yeah, you can go in. I'll hold yeah, it yeah, close the door. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, you you can't. Oh, you can kind of see it. This this camera is excellent, but I can't see my hand in front of my face. Um, but the camera's actually picking it up. Yeah, very very dark. This is the next part. This is how we get the smart hybrid technology to go from infrared to white light mode. Because obviously that's the name of the game. We're using both best of both worlds. So on this smart hybrid technology. If you can go to configuration, we're going to set up a VCA event, so just a, a typical intrusion area where a human or vehicle would be detected, okay? So smart hybrid into the you know VCA function. These cameras have the AccuSense technology on board. We're going with intrusion. Or Intrusion's one fine. Intrusion, yeah. Yeah. And then just set it up on the floor, just do a floor uh, box for it. Just here? Yeah. So like when Jake goes in in a bit. Happy with that? Yeah. And then what I do here then guys, you can tick human or vehicle, we'll leave it as human. Threshold is, uh, uh, just put the threshold as two seconds. And that means he has to be in that area for two or more seconds for it to trigger. It stops it or helps to eliminate some false alarms. And then done. Just arm and schedule, just check it's 24 seven. Yeah which it should be so by default, and then yeah. linkage action, we should be fine as well. That's all yeah. good. We so go back to, to the live view. Oh, we just need to pause a sec and get a new memory card. Okay. So we've drawn an intrusion box around here, and the idea being with the smart hybrid technology is, if you enable the VC and draw a line crossing, region entrance, region exit, or in this case, re uh, intrusion box, and get it right, Dave, when you go in there in a minute and stand in that box there, it will detect you based on the rules and the parameters, and then the white light will come on. So it'll go from infrared mode, then into white light mode. So what we need to do now is firstly turn the lights off. So I'm gonna open the door and turn the lights off. So let's get it into infrared mode okay. already. So I need the card, which oh, is on the floor. Help there we go. Yeah. Thanks. That was Ahmed, he threw that on the floor out of frustration. So now you'll see that after five seconds, that'll go to infrared mode. There we go. Mm -hmm. So that'll settle down and we'll let that settle, settle, settle. There we go. So what we're going to do now is you're going to walk into there. Oh my God. <laughs> so I don't know I keep do you want me to walk in there? Because I got the card, doesn't make any difference. No, I like walking in there. It uh, gives me purpose. Okay. <laughs> That's the only purpose you've got, yeah? So open the door, go into this area, stand there, and you should see the white light come on. And again, Takes oh. about five seconds, that's okay. Takes about five seconds. <laughs> Cheers. There we go, that's it. Now, white light straight on. And that's how quick that detection is. It was very, very quick. It was insane. Detected him, white light has now come on, and you can see there, it's now acting with white light mode. When he moves out the way, so Jake, go to the top of the room, please. The camera will keep going. Stop. The camera now will detect that, it will stop once he uh, 
it's the timer runs out, he'll go back to infrared mode because it's now detected him outside and he'll go back to normal operating mode. Now, sometimes I can't remember what the switch was on this, but it takes about 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah. Few so, later. Jake, if you just come out of the room, it's still detecting you. Yeah. So if you come out, the, if you come out, have you got the card? Yeah. Yeah, you come out of the room now. All right, just go triggered on. again, just, just as you did it. Oh, really? <laughs> so you can see there, again, it'll go back into infrared mode. Just, just wait. Yeah. And again, lovely infrared mode. And then when you walk in there again, so pass me the key, I'll go in there. Key, key yeah, go on. So you can see there, as I go in here, one thing to note is you can again go into configuration, image, just make sure, I'm pretty sure we did the... Uh, what was the collie like then? Good. It was really good. Really and good. it was really quick. Manual. Yeah, it was very, I can Sorry, tell it should have been on quick. manual. That's why it was a little bit darker than normal. So now we've put it up to manual, not auto. So when it was on auto, it can go up to 100%, but it wasn't on 100%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See the difference when in When I was snap. in there, so the light came on and it was light. It, and it, it dimmed down, because yeah. that's on auto. Ah, now, be now, now, that now see cool. the effect when I go in there and do it properly. Yeah, it does... Um, it's pretty bright. Oh, okay. Jesus. It's definitely going to get broken. <laughs> it's definitely going to get broken. It slammed it on. It has detected me yet. It has, but it hasn't triggered it yet. I think you have to walk into it, don't you? Go, go forward. There we are. Yeah. There we are. Oh, oh, yeah. That... I just saw an orb then as well. Did you yes. see that? That's yeah, definitely yeah. a ghost. So how does that compare to the uh, colour view? Well, well oh, I'll have to review it back again, but it looks like this area here is quite dark. This area here? At the back. But, I mean, that obviously can be manually adjusted, so it wouldn't be a fair test. And you can see there, it's quite bright. But now, that, I believe that was a lot brighter yeah. in the image compared to the first time we tested it, because we made it manual and 100%. One thing, one thing that we did notice earlier, was when we turned the white light off of the hybrid completely mm -hmm. and the standard color view came on uh, from the the hybrid one there was that shadow yes we didn't know if that was because of the other Correct. camera we so it would be an idea to test it now even if you just go in there in that zone let the white light come on itself and see if there's still that shadow as yeah. it's using its own I'll do it now I'll go in there and see if that shadow's there yeah. it's a really interesting thing because we noticed it earlier so yeah what, up on here. Yeah. So basically, there was a, there was a right prominent shadow once that light came on, which yeah, at the moment there isn't. Yeah, there, there is no shadow there. In oh, the front. literal shadow on the floor. There yeah. was literally a shadow. Yeah, yeah in you front can see of the that. Yeah. but there isn't now. Yeah. So that clearly that shadow that that we saw earlier was because the light source was coming from at an angle from a different camera. It wasn't coming from the same camera, so it wasn't firing in the same direction. Got it. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good, Dave. Yeah, that, that answers that perfectly. Same or? Same no, no shadow. no shadow. Okay. So it did exactly what we thought it would. Yeah, yeah. And that because the light source is coming in from another it's camera, making that it's just producing, a, just producing a shadow. Okay, that's cool. Is there anything else you want to show on this tech or? Can we wrap that video up? We could, this is basically wrapped up. Like it was this uh, sort of an introduction to the technology, how powerful it is, what it can provide for you. So you get the best of both worlds, infrared at night, white light when you need it to be for the evidential or high quality imagery. Again, health and safety is a deterrent in itself because if that white light came on without the active deterrent, yeah. it still you know, acts like yeah. a security light effectively. So yeah, all happy. Anything all you happy want to add to that? Um, no, maybe perhaps a question. Maybe there's one thing that I would think of: is there a way of setting a schedule for the infrared light to come on between certain times, and then the white light to come on between certain times? You is can that... do. You can actually set an image parameter switch. Okay. So under here, let me just check because it's a really good point. So on the smart hybrid color view, if you look at the uh image and an image parameter switch menu if you enable it there is options for front light back light low illumination what that effect has on that infrared is still to be tested to be honest okay. but there's no obvious route under display settings you can't schedule it um you what you can do is put schedule switch 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 yeah. can't even say it. scheduled switch um, but that's to turn the camera that's on. That's the overall, isn't it? Yeah. The only reason why I asked that is, for example, I know in Essex, 
they turn the street lights off in some areas at two in the morning. So for instance, it might be acceptable to have the white light on until two in the morning, but then from two in the morning onwards, it just goes into infrared mode. Does that, do you know what I mean? So you're kind of yeah, getting best yeah, of both yeah. worlds. And you can see as I was messing around with me. Yeah, I get it. It, 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 could, be, it could be another, this technology just being released. So obviously we're going to see quite a bit of development on this okay. for a customer request. So I think that's yeah. a really good one to feed back yeah. is being able to do that scheduled switch in there. Just have a so, switch between the two lights. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a brilliant I, idea. I think that would be quite a good idea. So that was the comparison video. We hope you had a great time watching it and you've got some uh, knowledge you can take away with you. I'd like to say firstly, thank you, Armin, for coming down. I'm going to shake your hand. Such a I pleasure, a as always. That. A closer look, look at that. Look that. that. Means a lot. True partnership. Then, Very strong grip as well. Um, <laughs> 15 years in the police, that does for you. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for coming down and visiting us. No we worries. really appreciate you. We love the video. We love seeing you. If you want to find out more about this company, please go check the link in the description where you'll see all the links and you can follow him on all his social media. It's very interesting make sure you make sure you make sure you follow and subscribe whatever platform you choose other than that this has been a great video um thanks for coming down and thanks again thank you thanks for watching thanks for having me it's pleasure. been a pleasure as always it's been great to see you guys and to look at all the latest tech hopefully it helps you uh watching it as well thank and you. uh if we had a good camera man this would have been fantastic wouldn't it Blaming the tools again. Pathetic. <laughs> Not them at all. Yeah. <laughs>